Marcus Jones is tied for the NCAA career lead with nine return touchdowns. Six kickoffs, three punt return touchdowns in his Houston career. And here is Jones. And Jones gets past the first wave and makes the most of it out towards the 30-yard line. This defense honest by rushing it between the tackles. Tune with time to open the game, and he's able to get it complete to Jake Herslow. McCaskill on a first down run, and he catches a seam. Oh, McCaskill. So far for this Houston offense. Play action, tune, over the middle, complete to Tank Dell. And Houston is in rhythm early. And third down and nine. Pressure off the edge, and they get to tune as he is torn down by Curtis Brooks. And the overload pressure by the Bearcats. Dalton Witherspoon, 37-yard field goal. And that gets our championship afternoon started. Ritter takes his time, and then out of the backfield is Jerome Ford and Katie. He's been dealing with a bad ankle. Head with their talented wide receivers. Second four, Ritter to the near side, and he gets the completion for a first down to Trey Tucker. Again, here against a ranked Houston team. He's their big body guy. There's Ritter on an RPO, and this goes to Wiley, and Josh Wiley, one of the two very athletic tight ends who's able to turn the corner. Four plays, 57 yards already. Ritter with time to the end zone. Touchdown, Bearcats, Tyler Scott. We continue to fight at the line of scrimmage. Third and seven. Toon. He's going to tuck and run, and he's going to pick up the first down. Now it's second and eight. They run into the pressure and swarmed and taken down by Deshaun Pace before he can even get started. Third down and ten. Pressure straight up the middle. Toon has to escape it, and then a diving effort right before going out of bounds that time by Jake Herslow. What a throw by Toon and a great escape. And how about Herslow dropping that knee down, securing the catch. Of course, he secures it there. Elbow down, knee down. McCaskill picks up the pass protection. Downfield again to Herslow. Dark one, Bush. No motions out to the near side. Chain on first down. Looks back that way and is able to find him for yet another first down against this extremely talented defensive backfield of Cincinnati. Especially in the big games. First and five after the penalty. Look at the time he has, and look at the throw and catch. Tank Dell, touchdown Cougars. By the offensive line, giving Toon plenty of time. As Dell working on the post on the outside, what a catch. Houston are with 119 total yards in this game. Jerome Ford, big seam. Jerome Ford is revving and tearing it up. in the edge pressure number 21 at the bottom of your screen as orbit motion with Henry coming around tune but he goes underneath to Singleton for a first down second and six here's the receiver screen at Tank Dell who goes to the outside of the block and is able to get to that line to gain was defeated by Baylor in the big 12 Pascal straight up against the middle of that Cincinnati defense. Play action, a gap pressure, and they get to him. Joe DeBlanco with the sack of Clayton Toon. Still motions out to the outside of Dell. Fourth down and three. Toon shallow cross to Dell, and Dell will get that corner with those fleet feet and a first down and a fourth down conversion for the Cougars. They bring four after two, and they go underneath to Tank Dell, and that'll shade something off for a field goal attempt, attempt to cut the lead to one. 
Great contact and right down the middle. Houston, by the way, time of possession, 15.46 to just two and a half minutes for Cincinnati. Trey Tucker. Trey Tucker, dangerous return man, all the way out to the 45. Flag comes down at the end. Could be horse collar at the end of that special teams tackle. Personal foul. Horse collar tackle. Number 31. The kicking team. 15 yards. From the end of the turn. Just such dynamic return, guys. As you can see, Tucker getting to the open field, well blocked. Just right there, grabbed on the back. As you can see, grabbing the horse collar, grabbing the nameplate, anything that you pull backwards, as we also have our rules official, three times Super Bowl. Completion of the game. And going to swing it to Montgomery. Montgomery, well blocked, and then he lowers the shoulder inside the 25-yard line. Ryan Montgomery. This is just the fifth snap in Houston territory, and yet they're having this kind of a day. Ritter. Inside the 10, it'll be first and goal, Bearcats. And now there's a fight on the near side at the end of that play, and quickly the officials are separating the action between Marcus Jones and Alec Pierce. Very bright future. Third and goal. Nothing against the middle of that Cougars defense. David and Ninny. General Lowry now with the 23-yard attempt. And what did we say? Houston is playing really good ball here against Cincinnati. Cincinnati's playing well, but it's just a highly competitive title game. Look at this defense swarm. That is Logan Hall, all six foot six of him crashing down on Desmond Ritter. McCaskill trying to bounce it. And he goes the wrong direction. Good pursuit by Darian Beavers, who's a... Exactly what they will do as he just gets back across midfield. This is only their 20th offensive snap. 20. That's it. Ritter downfield wide open. And Pierce having to extend himself to make that dynamic catch. How about Pierce reeling it in? What an adjustment. And does he secure it? Since he's going to try to go fast. The 23 yarder earlier tonight. Fourth down and three. Ritter. Inside the 10, it's incomplete. Flag is down. He was trying to connect with Thompson. Jones had coverage. Coverage number eight for Houston. Pass interference. Defense number eight. Of the attack. First and goal. Ritter. RPO. Cincinnati. One thing, Katie, the scoreboard, another thing. And right now, it's a trail by eight situation. And there's an interception right into the hands of DeBlanco. Joe DeBlanco, dead center, playing middle linebacker, and just snaps it. What a job by the linebacker reading the eyes of the quarterback. Look at DeBlanco the entire time. He floats with the back, and then he retraces right back underneath the over route. He just read the eyes the whole time. That's just fantastic veteran presence from the senior DeBlanco who's played a million games. It's a great read by the linebacker. Ritter with time. Ritter to the end zone, and they score again. And it's Alec Pierce. Throughout the course of the first half. Sauce Gardner was showing pressure off the edge. Then he backs off into coverage. But coming down is two as Jawan Briggs comes up with the sack. And that is their fourth of the game. My J. Sanders with the tackle of Henry. Safety pressure, and he gets it out quickly to Wiley. And Wiley, with nobody around him, past midfield to the 42-yard line. Let's see if they throw it over their head. 
Ford keeps it on the ground, bounces it to the outside. He's going to do it again. And what do we have here in the third quarter? We got a snowball heading to the playoffs the way Cincinnati wants it. They are rolling downhill in this third quarter. Let's see what Houston can come up with here on third and nine and mishandling it. Ball is out. And Houston's Dennis Bardwell. And Ford is stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. That was Derek Parrish with the tackle. A good job by the defense on fourth down. Tune. This time he can't escape Joel DeBlanco. Driven back by Curtis Brooks for the sack. That yard. Fourth down and one. It's what they do, and he gets plenty of it. And a little Clayton something Jim. extra out to the 43-yard line for Dana Holderson. Tune didn't have anything downfield. So eventually he goes down for down and 14. Dell spins free and then cuts back to the inside. How about this on a tank, Dell? All the way down to the 10 yard line. Third and goal, tune. Underneath and into Herzlow. Fourth down and six. Two. And isn't that fitting? Eight times tonight, he has been sacked. Twelfth tackle for loss. Cincinnati's defense putting a stamp on it. Andrews at the beginning of the night. Win this for all the small schools that never had a chance to get here. Cincinnati's there. 